Hello and welcome to Love My Poland. If you're new to my channel, my name is Russell and I'm an American father of three boys. My wife is 100% Polish and we live here in Poland full time. My kids go to normal everyday Polish public elementary school and you know, I can't help but be fascinated by the many differences between elementary or primary school in Poland versus the school I went to back in Houston, Texas growing up there. The fact is there are dozens and dozens of tiny differences, like the fact that they call kindergarten here in Poland, the class before first grade or first class, they call it zerówka, zero class. I love that. But you know, today we're going to examine eight of the biggest differences and I am going to invite my two oldest sons right here with me on the sofa to kind of give some commentary. Where are my two boys? Here they are. My oldest son Jordan is in third grade and my middle son David is in first grade. They're going to be contributing to our discussion today with some of their commentary, their opinions and some of their experiences. Let's get right into it. Here we go. Number one, well, I think we have to start with the most obvious difference, at least for me, religion and school. In America, with separation of church and state and gosh, so many different religious beliefs among students in my school in Houston, I have never had a religion class in public school. Coming here and seeing that firsthand, I was shocked to see nuns and priests just walking around the taxpayer funded school corridors, school hallways. It is something unimaginable in America to see something like that. You know, when I think of my son, Jordan, who's actually going to these religion classes, Jordan, how many, how often do you have it per week? And how many of your fellow students go to those classes? We have it two times a week and 19 students of 21 go to religion class. So only two of them don't go, right? Yes. Okay. And that's just their personal choice that they don't go, right? So they don't have to go to the, the religion classes, but most of them do. Yes. Okay. It's a very interesting difference. Number two, the next two examples we'll mention have to do with the everyday student routines. When I was in elementary school, my friends and I, we all carried around our Jansport backpacks with our books and binders inside. And I remember many of us, we would use this special pouch, this one right here from the med company that would go into our binder. We would put all of our stationary pens, paper clips, anything we wanted to in these pouches and just close it up in our binders. But here in Poland, it's really different, and I think I like it better. Davy, can you share with us, what do you have in your hand here? This is how you take your pens and pencils to school. This is called a piernik. Uh -huh. Open that up. And I'll show you what's inside. It's incredible. It's like a portfolio of everything he needs. He has a schedule there. He's got a pouch on the other side to carry things. All kinds of different pens and pencils. Just an amazing thing. I'm jealous of this. Why didn't we have something like this in school? And as kids get a little bit older, they go away from this and they carry something else. Jordan, what do you have there? It's this like tube. Yeah, it's pouch. also kind of a pure right? Yeah. It's a pure pencil pink. pin pouch. And what I'm holding here, it's stitched together. This is fine quality leather. This is incredible. I really wish we had had something like this back in the US. So we just kind of threw everything in our bags or in that pouch. But here, very European, very Polish right? To have something like that. Number three, and while we're still on the subject of pens and pencils, I was also kind of intrigued by the fact that pupils here in Poland or students in Poland from second grade, from the second class, they have to use fountain pens, old school cartridge fed fountain pens in class. Jordan, do you have one of your pens to show us? Yes, I have one of my school fountain pens and an ink cartridge from one of these fountain pens. And you had to learn how to, to do that. You have to keep several of them ready to yes. go, right? Now, what if a student or a pupil wanted to use a regular ballpoint pen, like a Bic pen? You Could they do that? You would get a bad mark. No, you cannot. Your teacher would give you a bad mark if you didn't use that pen? Yes. Just absolutely incredible. You know, I wasn't allowed to use pens in school until I was 10 years old. I was in the fifth grade. And any American watching right now probably remembers those fat pencils we'd use in kindergarten. I remember we had two main colors, the, the blue ones and the red ones. And, you know, that was what we used to kind of practice writing. But here from the second grade, again, fountain pens. For number four, your dress code is a little bit different in Polish schools. And I had it back in the USA. I remember back in American public school, actually, there wasn't really anything crazy. We couldn't wear like, you know, bloody gory shirts or something that would scare people. But Davey, I know that you have some strange rules concerning your dress code about clothes and attire. 
You can't wear red or neon because it's very distracting. No red or neon. What if I were to wear like a super neon green shirt? What would happen to me? You would get a bad mark or you will stop by the teacher. You might have to go to the headmaster principal's office, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's distracting to other students. And I know shoes. This is a different rule altogether. Tell us about the shoe rule in your school. You can't wear your outside shoes in the school. You must buy a special pair of shoes to go to school in. Exactly. So daddy has to fork out, you know, double Nikes basically, right? Nikes for going to the shopping mall or to the cinema, and then another pair of Nikes just so they can walk around their own school campus. Great. But it is a nice, clean, sterile environment, so that's something. For the fifth point, you know, it's really hard to measure, but I don't remember having to do nearly as much homework as you guys have to do here in Poland. Uh, school was over at 2, 2.30. We played with our friends. We rode bikes. We had a little bit of homework, but you guys are swamped. Wouldn't you say you have a lot of homework? Yes. It's tons of homework. We spend pretty much after school, they have a little time to eat a snack or something, and it's straight to work. And we finish around 8, maybe 9 p.m. Time to go to bed, take a bath, and start all over again the next day. So I think also, Jordan, about your history. He's starting history this year, and he's learning about Polish history. And in America, our country is 240, almost 245 years old. They have to learn about a thousand years of history. Sorry about that, right? Not everything can be perfect, I guess. So lots of homework here. This is an interesting one. The sixth point, I'm really intrigued by the marking or grading system in Poland. In America, kids are graded on a five point scale, A, B, C, D, all the way down to F. A, A plus is the best mark, F is the fail. But in Poland, they use a six point scale system from number six. Six would be like your AA plus, all the way down to number one, Gedinka, that is a failing mark. And that really brings me to my next question. I was a very diligent student. I did my work. I actually liked school and I made the principals or the headmasters honor roll. I was one of the few students that were, you know, was on that top list. And Jordan, can you tell us, is there an honor roll in your school? No, there is the diplomas and free books at the end of the year if you're a great student. So they look at your grade point average, your average, they take the best students and they get kind of prizes, right? Like yeah. free books and certificates. Yeah. That's something cool. I guess you have something, at least you have something physical out of it. We just had the recognition, you know, the honor of being those smart students, but to get something physically out of it, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Listen to number seven. You know, I kind of feel sorry for you guys. One thing that you don't have that we had in America that you're really missing is something called recess. I remember it was just before lunch, around 11.15 at Moore Elementary School where I went. From 11.15 to 12, we were outside playing on the playground with our friends, and then it was lunchtime. But you guys don't have recess. I don't know why. You do have some breaks between classes. How long are those breaks, Davey? 10 minutes. Only 10 minutes? And what do kids do? What's it like during that 10-minute break? It's really loud. Yeah, kids go crazy. Why do you think kids are so chaotically crazy in the hallways? Because they can't play on class or draw, so they go crazy on breaks. Yeah, I think recess would fix that problem, right? They have to get all the energy out somewhere at some time. I've walked through the hallways at a Polish elementary school, and it is really, really, I couldn't hear myself think. It's crazy. So definitely recess is something. If anybody out there at the school board is listening, recess would be a great idea to integrate into the Polish school system. Trust me. For the eighth and final point, we live in the city limits of Częstochowa, and one of the good things about that is my kids can easily walk to school. School is seven minutes from our house. If there's bad weather, my wife or I, we just drop them off, pick them up by car. But I was one of those kids that had to take that American school bus every single day. You don't see the school bus quite as often in Poland as you do in the USA, but they do have a school bus. I just want to leave you with this image. This is what a Polish school bus looks like. Check it out. All right, well, those were eight differences we wanted to share with you today. I am really curious. You know, I'm from the USA. My wife is Polish, but how many of my mixed international relationships do I have out there that are living here in Poland? What can you share with us? What's different about school for you versus your home country? Please put it in the comments section. I love to read the comments. I just wish I had more time to respond to each and every comment. We're going to be looking forward to that. If you have not subscribed to our channel already, go ahead and click the button right here over Jordan's head so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time. Bye. Bye.